October 27th. I'm headed to central Nebraska. Got a lease up there, about 600 acres. And uh, we're going to go up there and see if we can't get it done with a bow. Yesterday it was like 71, I think, up here. And today it's supposed to be a high of 37. Feet. Don't really know anything about this place. We turkey hunted it, but I don't know as far as food source goes. I don't know what all he got planted. He normally plants crop. But it was a really, really wet spring for them, so I don't know what he got in the ground. But we're headed to Nebraska. Should be there. Only got like 13 more hours to go, so be there in no time. Right. GPS says eight hours and one minute left. Uh, looks like we'll be there around 6:30, and sunset is about 6:30. So hopefully, you can kind of pull up to the property, take a look around. Um, kind of see what the layout is as far as food plots and stuff go and then um, probably go in in the morning sit back probably won't push too hard in the morning just not knowing what's going on sit back kind of get a game plan get a stand hung midday and then sit at the rest of the evening and hopefully try and go ahead and get one knocked down tomorrow evening so the guy in previous years has planted cover crop radishes and things like that so hopefully he's got a couple fields like that that we'll be hunting and uh, we can catch some deer coming to food with this big cold front the rut should be kicking off pretty good um, typically when when I was guiding up here in Nebraska it was always last week of October first week of November uh, the deer were pretty right so hoping I'm gonna hit it just right with the weather and with the rut and see if we can't get something done always leave things at the house so had to stop by academy and pick up a couple things uh, one of the things that I wish I wouldn't have left was a decoy was really wanting to get some footage over a decoy especially up here in the Midwest this time of year they seem like they uh, they work pretty good but that's sitting in West Tennessee so ain't gonna be any decoy in this weekend or this week but maybe next go around I'll remember to put it in the truck. Left out at 3.30 this morning, so kind of uh, in a hurry, kind of half asleep, just trying to get on the road and get these 14 hours out of the way. So anyway, hopefully this evening we'll be able to show you a little bit of video of a couple deer coming in and feeding in a couple spots. Still driving. Old Matt's giving me some updates from back at the house, and uh, sounds like he might, uh, might be about to pull the trigger on old wide six pound. Still driving. It's uh, Monday, October 28th realized that I left my permits on the counter. Now with Nebraska you can just print them off, but anyway, I left them on the counter so I didn't want to go out this morning. You're supposed to have the permit on you, so we're going to find a place that we can get this permit printed and then <clears throat> we'll try and get out and uh, see if we can't get something killed. But I think what we're going to try and do this morning is since the permit situation happened, try and find some rubs hang some stands, put some, uh, maybe put a couple tents up in some thicker spots for when it's windy and cold, and then we'll roll back in there and get set up for the evening hunt. But the first thing we gotta do is go find a way to get this permit printed. Uh, saw some deer yesterday evening, went and met with the landowner yesterday evening, um, and saw a deer while he was kind of showing me around, just showing me, you know, what, where there was cows, where there was hot fence, stuff like that, so, um, Putting a deer out, didn't really see any bucks, but it's not a bad sign. They're there. I know they are. Well, we were able to get the uh, get the permit printed out, so getting everything packed up now, getting all our gear together. Going to start off this afternoon on the the outskirts. Not I, from turkey hunting and have a feeling of where I think the deer are going to be, but we're going to start hunting back from that. Kind of glass this afternoon. Who knows? Might get lucky and you know deer walk right under. It's gonna be cold, I have a bunch of gear on. 
Um, so hopefully I can get everything set up now. So that's one less thing I got to tote in there. I'm uh, going to be self-filming and, and hunting by myself. So hopefully we can bring y'all some good footage. But anybody who solo film knows that with a bow, solo filming, it's tough. I just freaking smoked him, man. I don't know what deer this was. 
I hit him just a little bit high, but right behind the shoulder. Man, he's a freaking... Whew. He's got big old brow tines. No, this one came from the same direction. He came in, he's like 20 yards. I had to poke it through some limbs, but the arrow looks like it's covered in blood. I hadn't got, I mean, I literally just shot. And that's the only one ran. The arrow's laying right where he was standing. I think he's an eight or a nine, but he's got really long brow tines. I just, I just hope I got him, man. I mean, like I said, he ran, I watched him run probably 120 yards. And I ain't had one run that far yet with a bow, but he had good mass and he had really long brow tines. And I just couldn't wait, man. Well, first set. Just shot an old eight pointer. So, climb down. Got a complete pass through. I'm gonna climb down and go check the arrow. Probably back out and then come back in here in a little bit and look for him. So, y'all stick with us. That's where I was at. That's where he was standing. Covered in blood. So, let's track up through here and see what we can't find. Right there. I heard him come through this part right here, but I don't know if he went up this edge. Yep, there's a little bit right there. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of blood. He's pumping now. His freaking horns right there. Eh? Yep. This freaking hill. Smoked. Oh, look at this. Freaking blood. Where'd he go? Freaking blood right there. And a freaking shin. And heck. Freaking blood. I just wonder if this ain't dude that I swear that looks like him. But look at this. Do it yourself. At least this far. Come in here. And freaking got it done with the bow. Look at them brows. Look at that. Whew, my city. What a stud. There he is. Freaking. Got it done with the bow. First set. Hung the stand this afternoon. Dude, it don't get no better than that. Drove all the way up here to Nebraska by myself. 15 hours, got a hotel room by myself, hung these sets, literally this is all solo. The film you see, the stands being hung, the scouting, everything. And to wrap my tag around that, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> oh man, that's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to drive 15 hours and sit for two hours and do that. You're not supposed to do it. Good Lord was with me on this. Man, I've had a tough break. This camera that I'm filming with, I cracked the screen today. Can't see nothing on the left side of the screen. I can only see halfway across. That's why the filming is so horrible. I cracked my screen. And man, I tell you, that's God right there. And this dude has been eating good. This landowner plants a bunch of cover crop. Bunch of cover crop. 
we're going to take this meat back home. Obviously, with CWD, I got to cape everything out, freaking bone it out, all that good stuff. So it's going to be a long night. But I mean, look at that laying right beside him, dude. That's insane. I don't know what I did. Twenty yards. Never been on this farm deer hunting. Look at the tree I'm on. Look at this sunset. I mean, if you can't be thankful to the Lord for letting us do what we do, you don't need to be out here. It's all I can take. This is ridiculous. Flat out. Ridiculous. I don't know what to say. I know I'm mumbling. I know I'm rattling. Rambling. I'm just pumped. Got it done with the old bear bow.